God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I am Bishop Ramon de Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. My beloved, today is February 1st, and we are starting a new month. Do you have a desire to hear from God this month? I know you do. So I am going to mention a few points about hearing from God. And I hope that these points will carry you through the whole month of February. Our scripture will be from Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7. Search and you will find. My beloved, to hear from God, you need three basic ingredients. One, regular time and place with God. Now, some prefer morning, like in the morning prayer that I pray, I do it as soon as I open my eyes. I seek God. First of all, I thank him for giving me another day. And then I give my day to him, asking him to lead me and guide me. Others prefer the evening time, and that is good too. But most of the time with the evening time, we get tired. At times, it's hard to find a good time and a good place to pray. So my beloved, what is good for me may not be good for you. But no matter what, find time and a place to pray to God. Now, some people wonder about how much time should you spend there? Well, my beloved, it should last long enough for you to say what you want and for God to say what he wants. Two, open your Bible. Before reading the Bible, pray. Don't just go to scripture looking for your own idea. Go searching for God's idea of what he has for you to do. Hunt for God's idea like a hidden treasure. Then you will understand and you will find that there are things that are hidden and only when you seek God will he reveal them to you. You know, my beloved, God seems to send us messages as he did with sending the manna in the wilderness. One day's portion at a time. He gives us what we need to make it through that day. So pray on a daily basis and allow God to speak to you for that day. Speak to you the things that pertain to what he has for you to do for that day. And three, pay attention with a listening heart. My beloved, understand this, as written in James chapter 1 and verse 25, a man who looks into the perfect law and makes a habit of so doing is not the man who hears and forgets. He puts that law into practice and he wins true happiness. So my beloved, do you have a desire to hear from God this month? I know that you do. Follow these basic things that I gave you. I gave you three. Spend regular time in a place that you can hear from God. Two, have your Bible opened and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you into the scripture that he wants you to learn. And three, open your heart to listen to God. My beloved, we know for a fact that we are listening to God when what we read in the Bible is what others see in our lives. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for the message today, hearing from God. Father God, we want to hear from you more and more every day. Give us a hunger to seek you every day, to read your word, and to open our heart to what you are saying to us through your word and through your soft, still voice. Thank you, Father God, for this prayer time and for listening to our prayer. In Jesus' name, we praise you and thank you. Amen. My beloved, Take notes this month, starting today. And at the end of the month, which is in 28 days, you will notice a difference in your communication with God. God bless you and have a great day and a great month.